Hi everybody, um, I wanted to do a quick video on updating and upgrading your Raspberry Pi. Uh, so if like me, you run a number of Raspberry Pis, uh, you're going to need to make sure uh, that the software uh, is up to date uh, for security reasons, but also to make sure that the servers or applications that you're running on them uh, run smoothly. So you're going to need to get used to a couple of commands. So I've made some notes over here so that you can pause the video and have a read. Uh, the uh, apt-get uh, is a command that you'll need to do uh, an update and an upgrade. So I wanted to explain the difference between the two because you need to run them both one after the other to make sure all of the sources used on your um, Ubuntu or Debian installation are up to date. So first thing to do is open up the Windows command prompt, which I've got here on the left, and then you're going to want to SSH into your uh, Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to log into one of mine, and then we'll do the update uh, and upgrade together. So to SSH, uh, you just type in SSH space and at, uh, sorry, uh, the username first uh, of the Pi that you want to log into. So SSH space Pi at, I'm going to log into my Plex server, which is 192.168.1.25 on my local network. Obviously, your IP address will be different. Uh, so then you want to enter your password once you start to connect. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, just clear the screen now that I'm logged in. There we are, that's better. So the first thing we want to do is type in sudo app, uh, apt dash get space update. I'm just going to copy and paste this. I will put these in the comments below just to make it slightly easier for you. Uh, so if I paste that in. So when I type uh, this, when I enter that, what that's going to do, it's going to check the internet of all of the sources that you're currently using uh, on your Raspberry Pi. And then it's going to get a list uh, of those ready to check later in the next phase whether they need to be updated. So if I just do enter, um, that's going to take a few seconds. So as I say, that's going to go and have a look. Um, and the source that it uses is this, etc. apt sources dot list um, to check what it needs to. So it's done that. So the next one we want to do is sudo apt get but upgrade this time. So if I copy that and then paste that in the command prompt. So this time when we press upgrade, this is going to install all of the available upgrades for the packages that we just checked that are installed on the Raspberry Pi uh, during uh, the update um, feature that we just did earlier. So it's going to go away, check all the sources. It's going to use this directory um, to find out which sources uh, have been installed. And then it's going to go away and install those new packages. It can install. Uh, some new packages if the current ones need to have them stalled, installed uh, to remain compliant, but it will never remove any existing packages. So once we've entered that, let's just press enter and that's going to go away now. And from you want to hit yes when you see that. Sorry, just get that going. So now that it's got that source uh, list of packages that it needs to update, it's going to go ahead, download them and install each one. So uh, I'll just fast forward that to the end. So that's it, all done. That took two or three minutes, I suppose. Um, so that's all you need to do to make sure all of the sources on the install in your Raspberry Pi are completely up to date. So just as I said, it's just two simple command lines. You've got sudo apt get update and then you've got sudo apt get upgrade. If you want to check all of the sources that are on your uh, Raspberry Pi installation, you need to visit that directory. So anyway, that's all it takes to make sure your system's updated uh, and upgraded. I hope that helps. If it does, uh, please consider subscribing or even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.